One of the great things about arriving early for a sunrise shoot is I'm less dependent on a great sky. Uh, really difficult trying to set up compositions in the dark. Good morning everyone, welcome to La Manga, which is in the Murcia region of Spain. It may not look it on the video, but it's actually pretty dark. It's still 25, 30 minutes before sunrise. I've been on location here now for about 25 minutes and I've driven nearly two hours to get here this morning. The 25 minutes I've been here scouting around here has been trying to work out the best composition to shoot El Faro, De Cabo, De Palos, I think. I'll put the name up here. Faro de, de, Faro de Cabo del Palos, I think it is, which is the lighthouse. Uh, really difficult trying to set up compositions in the dark, but I think I've got something that might work. And I think I've also got another shot that I might do, kind of looking out to sea um, a little bit later. Now, unfortunately, we've got clear skies this morning, which is not ideal, but I'm still hoping we'll get some nice images from today. One of the great things about arriving early for a sunrise shoot is I'm less dependent on a great sky. I mean, a great sky would still be nice, but at least shooting in the blue hour, I stand a better chance of getting a nice image than I perhaps would do if I was shooting, uh, you know, on a, just, just arriving at sunrise. The challenge, of course, is trying to set up compositions in the dark, which is never easy. But I think I've got one that might work. Okay, so what I'm using is the rocks down here in the water with the waves breaking around them. And there's more over this side. Then my foreground interest. Then there's a, a, an expanse of, or there's an area of sea. There's more waves breaking on the little uh, peninsula that the lighthouse is on. And then up to the lighthouse. And then unfortunately, quite a bit of boring sky. Can't do much about that. I have my 16 to 35 lens. I have a two-stop soft-edged ND grad in just to darken the sky a little bit because it's quite a bit brighter still in the foreground. So I've taken a few shots here now, just sort of playing with the exposure as the light's changing, with the two-stop soft-edged ND grad in just to darken the sky a bit. The sky is really, really dull and boring. I think I'm going to try another shot over that way in a few seconds. I can always come back and do this one again if, the, if we get some nice side lighting on the scene. I think I'm going to try over there now. Okay, so the sun is trying to break through some clouds out to sea. Out there. I've set up a composition quickly, basically using the rocks down here and this big one over to this side and with the sun out on the horizon. I've gone to f16, 16 millimeters, I think. Yeah, I'm at 16 millimeters, and I've got a three-stop hard-edged ND grad in because the sky is quite a lot brighter than the rest of the scene. And at f16, ISO 64, at the moment I've got a one-second exposure. And I'm going to take a few shots here as that sun tries to break out through the clouds, because that might be when we get something interesting.
shot I was thinking of doing, looking out to sea, uh, really just isn't working. Um, without some interest in the sky, that one's not going to work. It's a shame because there's some beautiful rocks out there which waves are breaking really nicely around, but I just can't get the composition to work. So I've come back over here and I've decided to do a slightly different composition, similar to what I did before, but I've gone wider angle, 16 millimeters, and I'm including just a little bit of the kind of rocky area which is down here, which is where I'm actually standing on. Also, because it's now quite a lot brighter, I'm able to go for a shorter exposure, faster shutter speed, which means I'm getting a bit more texture in, in the waves, which may look nice with the, the fact that they're quite dynamic and breaking around the rocks. Now the downside to going wider angle and angling the camera a bit more is that the lighthouse is going to be a bit distorted but I can correct that in post and I'm actually going to put a link up to a video where I showed how I did that with another lighthouse so the link will be up here and there'll also be a link in the description for this video so if you want to see how I did that in Lightroom and Photoshop you can do that. I drove down this morning about an hour and 50 minutes drive, got here about an hour before sunrise, spent half an hour trying to sort out some compositions and unfortunately we have basically had clear skies, no colour, no interest in the skies, so I'm not really sure that it's been a massively successful shoot, but I might have got you know an image of the lighthouse with some waves, I don't know, we'll have to see. This is going to be a short video, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it anyway, because right now it's 20 to 9, I need to get back to the car, I've got about another hour and 10 minutes drive to my next location, and I'm actually doing a meet up with another YouTuber, but that's going to be in my next video. So, I'm going to sign off now, and I'm just going to say that I hope you've enjoyed this one, even if it has been short. If you've enjoyed it and you want to see more of my stuff, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, which will be up here. And there's also another one if you're watching actually on YouTube itself, there's another one down below. Likes and shares help to promote the channel, so a thumbs up would be much appreciated, as would a share on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media platform you like. And comments, I love to read comments, always respond, comments go down below, so if you've got something to say about this video, or if you've got a question, or a request for me to do something, within reason, <laughs> that would be great as well, and I always respond to comments. And finally, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, so thank you very much, and until the next one, bye.